Oh, I need a bigger rod. Wow. All right. Good morning, everyone. So this morning I'm rigging up a couple lines. Hopefully I can get this done before the sun rises, although it is pretty close right now. But I think this is going to help me get out on the stream just a bit quicker. Uh, try a couple things right off the bat. And hopefully hook up to some fish. So one of these is going to be a streamer. I'm going to put on a Mickey fin since that was the only thing that was successful yesterday. But as for my um, nymphing rig, I have no idea what I'm going to put on it right now. But if I find something that works, I'll show you. Um, unfortunately, I'm still in the process of testing out flies that they'll take. Could also come down to technique too. So I got to try a bunch of stuff. I'm going to get this all rigged up, and then I'll see you guys out on the water. Is there any way that you could sort of just soft me out so that, like, I, I don't know that I'm at work in here? Could I come home and think that I've been fishing all day? I'm starting off at the hatchery pool here at Grand Lake Stream. I saw some people catch some salmon out of here yesterday, and I caught the one that I didn't have on film, of course, but today I got the GoPro running and on loop, so I can't miss it, but that assumes that I do hook up to a fish, so we got to start with that. Everything's all rigged up, ready to go. I even have a rod swap if I need it, so let's just hope we catch some fish. Spots all to myself for now. Water seems a little higher than yesterday. Nice fog in the air. Perfect day for fishing. What's up guys, Future Me here. So I wanted to take a second to tell you guys that I have finally finished some merch. You guys have been asking about that forever and I really wanted to take time to perfect it. I wanted to make sure I had something that I felt good about putting out there and that uh, you guys might really be interested in having. So I'm gonna show you that right now. So here is what I came up with. I have two designs. I have one brook trout that I've always wanted to have and I've never really seen it anywhere. And then I also have a design that I completely created myself. So the idea behind this one is I really want to put my logo in there. I have it in the background, kind of a, a main sunset with the trees. And this design has changed because I didn't like necessarily how purple it turned out. My goal was to look more like this sticker. The sticker turned out great. Kind of a grayish blue. Uh, it looks really good. So I'll probably put out the sticker if you guys want to have it in that color. If you guys really do like this, I can also put out this color, but I've changed it more slightly to be a tannish and look like a sunrise instead. So it goes from these black spruce trees to a, a lighter color and then kind of a golden tan over the top. I think it's gonna look better. But if you like that, I can always put it out there. And then this design, always wanted to have just a nice brook trout design and I can't find it anywhere. And then I put my little logo up in the corner of it too. So this would be something that if maybe you don't want to sport a giant logo, uh, you could always pick up this option and it, it is a really cool design. I'll have stickers of this too. So there you go. That's what I created. If you guys want to help support the channel, that's a great way of doing it. As you guys all know, <laughs> outdoor activities like this can cost quite a bit, especially when you get into new stuff. Right now I'm really into duck hunting. Um, if you guys can go check out my Instagram if you want to see the latest hunts. Uh, I've got the shotgun in the background actually, <laughs> but uh, it also helps me purchase the microphone that you're hearing me on now So it's really going to increase the quality of my videos. So if you guys want to help me out you can pick one of those up Anyway back to the video
Oh, got one. No way. There we go. All right. Nice salmon. Yes. <laughs> Come here. Yes. <laughs> it's made my whole trip right here. If I can land him. Oh, come here. Oh. Come on. <sighs> Guys, my heart is pounding. I mean, absolutely pounding. Oh, I need a bigger rod. Wow. This thing, I can't overpower him. There's no way. Yeah. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh, come to the net, come to the net. No. Oh. Jeez, these things have power. I want to come to you then. Stay out of the current, please. On the Mickey fin. Same thing I used yesterday. Please come to the net. Oh, I missed him. Come on, salmon. Oh my gosh. This guy's a fighter. Yes! Yes! Oh my goodness. <laughs> what a fish. Sorry guys, I don't have the big camera out. And I'm not gonna hurt this guy. So, we're gonna have to use the GoPro for this footage. But my, what a fish. What a fish. That's why I always keep fishing, even when I get discouraged. It's all about learning new techniques. Oh, and he pops right off. What a beauty. Look at that, guys. Oh, I am amazed. That was so much fun. So I'm supposed to keep track of which fins are clipped. His right fin's clipped. Nice male, you can see his lip starting to come up. Let him rest a bit, he's definitely tired. I'm tired, that was a fight. All right, let's go ahead and release him. I think he's ready to go. Oh, thank you, fish. That was a blast. You made my trip. This is significantly bigger than the one I caught yesterday. He's really tired too. I think my rod's a little weak, so I fought him probably longer than needed be. But look at that gorgeous salmon. There he's almost ready. You ready to go? Off he goes. Oh, yes. What a blast. Oh, yes. Oh, I needed that. All right, guys. First salmon of the day, and that was a good one, I think. I, I, don't, I don't fish salmon much, so I have no idea. I mean, for me, that was a good fish. I don't know how much he would have weighed, maybe like two to three pounds, somewhere in there. But so thankful for that. I really hope the GoPro was going on that. Yesterday I wasn't prepared. I didn't even take out this camera because I wasn't sure if I was even going to hook up to something. So, ah, but man, that makes me feel so good. I'm still like jittering a little bit. 
I have, I got that on a Mickey fin. I'll show you right now. So we got that guy right on this little Mickey fin. Same thing I used yesterday. It works really well for both brook trout and salmon. Heading back out, hopefully we can catch another couple fish. And if I do and I feel satisfied, then I'll go out in the woods and we can go hunt for rough grouse for a little bit. Man, did you guys see that bald eagle? Just to make the moment a little more epic. Talk about America. All right, well, focus. That concludes our fishing trip, or my fishing trip to, where am I? Grand Lake Stream. <laughs> it was a good morning. I mean, I caught that, I just caught that one nice salmon and that I am just so grateful for. That means I'm on the right track. I may not have the technique or the flies to use quite down yet, but you know what? That fish really made my day, it made my trip. Uh, I'm really happy with that, and I'm going to try to make one more trip before the season's over. But for now, if you watched yesterday's episode where I cooked up the rough grouse in the back of my pickup, you'd know that I didn't eat those legs. Well, I saved them, and I figured right now, for lunch, I can make some rough grouse chicken wings out of them. Put some sriracha on there, shake them up in a bag, and then fry them real quick and have the rest of my rice. So right now, let's make a lunch, and then I'm going to hunt my way home. Hopefully we can pick up another partridge so I can have dinner tonight too. Here's what remains of my meal. So I can have some rice and then these legs. Hopefully you're gonna be some pretty tasty chicken wings. I'm gonna go get a bag. I didn't plan to do this, so I didn't really bring everything I need, but I think if I just put them in a bag with some sriracha and then put pepper in it, salt, shake it up, it might turn out pretty good. Honestly, I don't know. Just gonna put them in this bag and then proceed to just shake them with some sriracha, pepper, salt. Maybe a little bit of curry and cayenne pepper might spice things up a bit more. Sriracha, um, what else? What do I need? Nothing. So just throw the partridge, throw the rough grouse legs in the bag. I'm gonna always call them partridge. I wish I had some flour to put in this, but I don't. I didn't really plan to do this at all. Dump in a generous amount of sriracha. Also add some salt, black pepper, and some cayenne. I want things a little bit hotter than it's gonna be. Go, 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 go. Maybe just a touch of curry. I don't know why. Not much of a flavor ma mixer. <laughs> Spices just aren't my thing. Shake up the bag. Oh, yep, this is gonna be fantastic. Oh my gosh. So there is the rough grass leg, and that looks pretty damn good to me. Let's keep those in there for now. So those legs are already cooked. So all I have to do is heat them up and maybe get them a little bit crisper. Let's just drop them in. Okay, I think these are hot enough. They're already cooked, so I just needed to reheat them. They look okay, I'm just gonna wipe them in some sauce. Get a little extra. And the finished product.
how about that? Those look pretty damn good, right? You can tell they're not chicken wings, because they're not, they're legs to begin with, but looks good. Let's try them. Here it is. I think these look super good. Oh man. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Couple tendons in there. Hmm. Wow. Okay. So this is good. Like really good. That is amazing. There's a lot of tendons in there, but ooh, that flavor is good. Pretty proud of myself for this. Holy, I didn't expect it to be that good. I almost forgot to talk. And this one's even bigger. All right, those of you got some rough grouse legs sitting around. I suggest you go try this right now. Very impressed with it. You could probably come up with a better, um, I don't know what you call it, sauce to put it in. But my makeshift sauce with what I had worked pretty good. Excuse my mess, there's, <laughs> there's no clean way to eat this. Fair warning, a lot of tendons in there. But you just gotta eat around them. And it's really good. Tell you, when I came out here, I did not think I'd be making rough grouse chicken wings. But this is, um, I think this is a new tradition of mine. I am gonna save all the legs and make chicken wings out of them. So anyway, I got some rice to finish up. That was just kind of a snack. I only got that one bird the other day. But we're gonna hunt our way back. Hopefully we get another rough grouse, and if we do, I'm doing that again tonight, I guarantee it. So close. There we go. Okay. Let's get out of here. Alright. Found a road that I feel like walking. It looks nice. I don't know if we'll see any birds. It's it's like 2.30, so it's kind of middle afternoon. But after cooking lunch, I drove a little bit, and it's either I go out and walk for a little bit or I make some more coffee, because uh, I'm a little tired from this trip. So I'm out by 3rd Machias Lake. I don't know if this road will be any good, but it's worth a shot. So let's go out there, see what we can find. It's like a moose trail through here. It's not the only thing keeping this road open right here. Alders take over a road really fast. I bet you once I get out of this lower area and we get a little higher up on the road, it might be a little thicker than this. So I'm gonna see it through a little bit. And then I find a lot of birds in these alders anyways. Ah, they're just not that fun to walk. There we go. Yeah, it'll open up a little bit. We'll see.
maybe I'll see one on the way back. Still got a couple hours of daylight, so it could happen. Keep moving. Start. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close it out here. I hope you enjoyed this trip of a new area for this channel in Maine. I think it went pretty well. I didn't catch that many fish or get that many birds, but I still had a good time. I learned a lot and I got to explore a new part of Maine. For me. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a good morning, evening, or night, whatever time it is when you're watching. And if you wanna follow along for another one of these adventures, then you can always hit subscribe. And if you like the video, hit the like button. Well, I'll see you next time, guys. Have a good one.